In Isaiah 9, 6 through 7, we read, For unto us a child is born, unto us a, sa- a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increasing of his government and peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and up over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward even forever. Then zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. 700 years before Jesus, the prophet Isaiah prophesied that the Messiah would be born. He would be a descendant of King David and he would rule an everlasting kingdom. The Prince of Peace would be God with us and his name is Jesus. Luke 1, 46 through 55. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imaginations of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Mary sang a song of praise. She would be the mother of the Messiah, the Savior. God would reveal his mercy and strength to all people. But how would this be accomplished? Did Mary know that her son would announce the coming of God's kingdom by healing the blind and deaf and by raising the dead? Did Mary know that Jesus would die for the sins of the world? And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinus was governor of Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone in his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be rescued with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. 700 years before Jesus was born, the prophet Micah prophesied that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. In God's perfect timing, Jesus was born in the city of David. The one small child was born of simple means, but this one small child was destined to change the world. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign unto you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly... There was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. So it was, when the shepherds had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. The shepherds, the outcasts of society, heard the good news from heaven. 
Come to worship Christ the Lord, the newborn King. The Savior had arrived. It is a time to rejoice. Let us join the heavenly choir of angels in praising the Lord. Gloria in excelse Deo. Glory to God in the highest. Matthew 2, 1 through 11. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go search carefully for the young child, and when you have found him, bring back word to me, that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The wise men from the east came in search of the king of the Jews. Abraham, the father of the Jewish people, was promised long ago that all nations would be blessed through him. Jesus, king of the Jews, came to set his people free. He is the joy of every longing heart. Wise men still worship the Lord today. Hebrews 2, 14 through 17. Inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is, the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For indeed, he does not give aid to angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore, in all things, he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make atonement for the sins of the people. Over 2,000 years ago, God the Son put on flesh. He experienced temptation, but was without sin. He tasted death, but defeated the grave. He came to set the captives free. He came to give his life a ransom for our sins. This little baby came to die. He is our merciful and faithful high priest. He is the hope of all the years, the long-awaited Messiah. He is the perfect love who casts out all our fears. Luke 2, 17 to 20. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it mauled at those things which were told them by the shepherd. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. The angels praised God. They knew the salvation that would come upon that midnight clear. Now the shepherds had seen our Lord. They marveled glorified and praised God. They told others about the good news. And one day, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Will you be one to sing the song that the angels and the shepherds sang so long ago? 
Revelation chapter 19, 11 through 16. Now I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with, he, that with it he should strike the nations, and he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads with the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God, and he has on his robe and on his thigh the name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Angels praised his birth. Shepherds rejoiced at his birth. Wise men worshipped him. We can worship him too, and it is an issue of life or death. Jesus will come again, and his return will not be a rescue mission that begins as a baby. God the Son in the flesh will come as the conquering king. His enemies will face the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God, but you do not have to be his enemy. God still invites us to come and worship. Worship Christ, the newborn king. As we celebrate the birth of our Lord, let us not forget that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you're not ready for the return of our Lord because you're lost in your sins, you can change that today by accepting Jesus to be forgiven of your sins. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. As we celebrate this future return by singing joy to the world, I ask you to respond as the Lord is leading you. This altar is open as we sing. I hope you all were blessed today. Thank you, choir, musicians, and all that were able to read scripture today. Let's close with a word of prayer. Father, I thank you for allowing us to be in your house today. I thank you for what we have to celebrate the birth of the Savior, the death on the cross for our sins, and the resurrection, and the hope that you will return one day, Lord. I thank you that we can rejoice in knowing that you will make all things right one day. And as we walk through this Christmas season, that we would just continue to look to you, Lord. We would tell others about you. We would rejoice in you and all the things that we do. Guide us and direct us every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.